In this video, we'll go through the first steps for authorizing with the Ad Manager API before we even get into code. There are two primary ways to authorize with the Ad Manager API. The first is the service account flow. This is the simplest method and works well if you only want to make requests to one network. An example use case for the service account flow is an application that downloads reports from your network every day. The second is the web application flow. This method is more complicated and it allows you to make requests on behalf of many users whose networks you might not have direct access to. We won't go into the details for the web application flow in this video, but there's more information on developers.google.com. Back to the service account flow. There are three steps to get started. First, create a service account in the Google API console. Second, enable API access in Google Ad Manager. And finally, add the service account as a user in your network. Now let's take a look at creating a service account. Navigate your browser to console.cloud.google.com. You may be asked to go through a brief sign-up process if you've never accessed this page before. In the left-hand navigation under the IAM and Admin menu item, select the Service Account submenu. Then, click the Create Service Account button and give the account a name that's descriptive of your integration. You will need to select a role as well. This role will not impact your API integration's access to your Ad Manager network, but it is required for the creation of a service account. I'd recommend selecting a role with minimal privileges, like Project Browser. Then, select Furnish a new private key with JSON as the file type and click Save. Your browser will download the JSON file for the service account. This file is like a username and password, so be sure to keep it secret. Go ahead and copy the value in the email column for your service account because we'll need it in the next step. Next, navigate your browser to admanager.google.com and sign in. Then, in the left-hand navigation, select Admin and Global Settings. Be sure that the API access toggle is checked and click Add a Service Account User. Here, give the user a name and enter the service account email that we saved from the last step. Select the team and a role for the user that will give it sufficient privileges to access the Ad Manager entities required for your integration. And finally, click Save. The new service account user should be visible in the Ad Manager UI in the Users list, and you can now make API requests to your network using it. 